And we mentioned this at the top of the broadcast. There's a massive rescue mission underway tonight off the coast of Florida. There, in an area known as Highland Beach, we came upon scientists and park officials tending to a pot of pilot whales, perilously close to shore. The whales were discovered by a fishing guide Tuesday afternoon, and scientists from NOAA arrived this morning to find 51 whales. Ten of the whales were dead as of Thursday morning, including four pod mates euthanized by wildlife officials after they were found to be in, quote, poor condition. Now, federal, state, and park wildlife officials are racing to save the remaining whales in the pod, but the situation looks bleak after attempts to guide the whales back out to sea failed Wednesday. For folks out there, you have to understand it is all flats out there. Uh, very, very shallow water, in some places less than a foot deep at low tide, and even at high tide, you may not get more than three or four feet if that. And of course, scientists, biologists are still, uh, you know, unclear as to what it is uh, that uh, ultimately leads to these whales and dolphins, you know, beaching themselves, whether it's viral, uh, whether it's environmental. Uh, nobody really knows what the cause is when you see uh, something like this happen. Giant craters have been ripped out of these roads in southern Italy after a major landslide tore through a small town. After days of bad weather, including heavy rain and flooding, the concrete buckled and cracked and buildings began sinking into the ground. There's nobody to be seen out driving today, as many routes have been left highly dangerous, with huge splits in the road, chunks of concrete torn up and potholes big enough to swallow a small car. Motorists were forced to abandon their cars and run for shelter. Buildings have sunk, including the local supermarket. It comes days after bad weather and flooding in the area. Severe flooding caused by monsoon rain forced over 40,000 people to evacuate in Malaysia on Friday, local media reported. Malaysia's state news agency, Bernama, reported that at least two people died while a father and son are missing. Bernama reported in the state of Pahang alone, more than 38,000 people have sought refuge in evacuation centers. Whitehaven Harbour took a battering the likes of which is rarely experienced in Britain. Floods like this one in New Brighton in the Wirral are causing devastation and chaos from coast to coast. Rivers burst their banks and more than 10,000 coastal homes have been earmarked for evacuation. As the North Sea reached higher levels than it did during the devastating floods of 1953. The rough tides assaulted coastal communities up and down Britain's east coast on Thursday. Sea defences were estimated by the Environmental Agency to have protected more than 800,000 homes when the surge combined with high tides and strong winds, many barriers were breached. Well, it really started in the north in Scotland, uh, Northern Ireland, and then down it swept through to the Midlands of uh, England. Uh, and it really uh, created havoc along the way. Winds of, uh, in the highlands of 220 kilometres an hour, so really extreme conditions. At least three people are reported to have died in accidents linked to the weather. Violent storms are showing no signs of weakening in northern Europe, with reports of at least four people dead or missing. Britain's Environment Agency warned of the risk of a storm surge and the Thames barrier has been deployed to protect London. In Denmark, a 72-year-old woman died when the truck she was travelling in overturned in high winds. The bridge connecting with Sweden has been closed as hurricane force gusts batter the coast. Northern Germany is also in harm's way. The system swept over the island of Zult with winds peaking above 130 kilometres an hour. Along the coastline, the storm surge forced water further inland. Powerful storms sweeping across northern and central Europe has claimed several more lives. At least five people died in Poland on Saturday. Three of them were killed when high winds hurled a tree against a car in the northwest, where Storm Zava has brought heavy snow. We do want to get, though, right to today's top story here in the U.S., which is another round of both powerful winter storms, creating treacherous conditions at this point from California all the way to New England. Making life miserable for millions of people, at least 11 weather-related deaths have been reported. Icy conditions Saturday went as far south as Los Angeles County, putting a total freeze on I-5, 
cutting off the major route between Los Angeles and San Francisco. If you looked at the average temperatures of every spot in the country this morning during a particular hour, the average temperature was 14.5 degrees. That's colder than any hour of any day all of last winter. All of this part of a major system that had already left its mark on the south. Homes, trees still frozen in ice tonight. And in Plano, outside Dallas, just look and listen to this. Ice coming off of a roof. This time-lapse video shows just how quickly this storm blanketed roads in Pennsylvania. Authorities tonight urging drivers to stay off the roads. That hidden danger, black ice. Just outside Manhattan, deadly black ice, leaving a wreck of mangled vehicles, sending at least 40 to the hospital. Swerving on the Pennsylvania Turnpike ended in dozens of crashes and that killer pileup outside Austin, Texas. Drivers from New York City to Boston face a fine line between rain and freezing rain. This storm stretches from Alabama all the way through New England and the Philadelphia era area has been especially hard hit. Almost a foot of snow fell fast in some parts. Uh, wow. You see how it's how hard it snowed in Philly? Now this is the Eagles Lions game. At some point you you could barely even see the field. Baby it's cold all right, especially in Antarctica. Minus 135 Fahrenheit. That's a new record on planet Earth. Scientists say that's so cold it would actually hurt to breathe. The news comes as winter storms sweep across the U.S., setting regional record low temperatures of their own. But obviously nothing compared to the record set in Antarctica. The Holy Land has been rocked by a rare winter storm of biblical proportions. Which brought snow to the whole country. The weather caused traffic disruptions and power outages, floods in the south, a brief closure of Tel Aviv International Airport, and a measure of excitement among the nation's many snow lovers. Snow has blanketed Jerusalem. Tel Aviv and surrounding areas have been hit with heavy rain and hail, and Haifa has received its first snowstorm in more than two decades. The storm, dubbed Alexa, has pushed temperatures below zero. Most of Israel, including the West Bank, has been affected by the storm. The Israeli government has even lifted the Jewish Sabbath public transport ban to help people to get to work. Thousands of people are still without electricity. This is the most severe snowstorm in decades in Israel. The snow reached up to 60 centimeters in Jerusalem and between 60 centimeters and one meter in the Golan during the three-day storm, which left four people dead. Lebanon has been struck by heavy snow, leaving thousands of Syrian refugees out in the cold in tents as the first winter storm of the season batters the Middle East. Thousands awoke in Arsal village to find themselves blanketed in snow, which struck areas 1,000 to 1,500 meters above sea level. It is the start of what is predicted to be the worst winter for many years. The United Nations said it is extremely concerned for the plight of the 2.2 million refugees living outside Syria and the millions more displaced inside the country. The storm has also pounded much of Lebanon and parts of northern Syria, pushing temperatures below zero. Snow also battered most parts of central and southern Jordan, shutting down government offices, causing power disruptions and blocking roads. Even in the Gaza Strip, they saw some wet snowflakes for the first time in 10 years. And yes, we did see accumulating snow even in some of the suburbs of Cairo. we want to show you. It is a bright white light flying across the screen. There you see it. We've been making calls all night trying to figure this out. What was it? Well, what I do know is that whatever this was, hundreds of people saw it. There are big lights, big booms, and it all happened around 7.30 tonight. People really from all over the state, even in other states, have been calling our newsroom, writing on our Facebook page, all the way from Las Vegas to the Mexican border, everywhere in Arizona, from Flagstaff to Oro Valley, even to Benson. We felt this absolutely tremendous explosion. I mean, it, it, it shook the windows, it shook everything in the house. I stepped outside and had to be no more than three minutes later after I hear all of this, and I see this tremendous white, bright light in the western sky. And it was just, it, it was absolutely enormous. I couldn't believe it. Heavy rains flooded much of Rio de Janeiro, submerging cars, crumbling some houses, and paralyzing the city. The mayor, Eduardo Paz, urged people to stay home and avoid the chaos that had gripped Rio. 
Major avenues were left completely underwater, cars abandoned. In some cases, residents were rescued in boats and jet skis. Classes were canceled at many schools and some trains and subways were flooded and flights canceled. A giant sinkhole has buried 11 buildings in southwest China's Sichuan province. The sinkhole has yet to be contained and still expanding. The sinkhole opened up at 12.40 a.m. Friday in Pingxi County. The hole is about 60 meters long and 40 meters wide. The sinkhole swallowed up 11 buildings belonging to local resident Wang Jiaxun. Fortunately, no one was injured or killed when the ground started to sink. Wang said he had been feeling the ground shaking over the last 20 days, although he did not realize it was a sinkhole starting to form. This is an incredible story. Hundreds of birds falling dead from the sky in Knoxville, Virginia yesterday. You, you can imagine everyone out there is wondering what happened as wildlife experts are starting to investigate. They just fell from the sky. That is strange. About a hundred birds dead on the road found Thursday afternoon. Most of them were picked up. A handful still remain. Heavy rain continues to batter the city of Wanning, which is down in southern China's island province of Hainan. The heavy rain there has disrupted life in dozens of counties as relocation gets underway to safely move more than 100,000 people. This has been the strongest rainfall on record Hainan has endured during the winter. Torrential rains have been hitting the province for the past two days, forcing the relocation of more than 150,000 people. Rising water levels in the city of Wanning has blocked traffic, leaving pedestrians stranded. Seven villages located in low-lying areas have been submerged. Businesses have been forced to close as store items lie underwater. The extreme weather has also destroyed at least 500 hectares of aqua farms. 200 soldiers have been deployed along major roads in a bid to ensure traffic runs smoothly and to rescue those trapped in cars.